<laughs> Hi, everyone. We have author Rosalind Castleberry here, and she's going to tell us about herself. Yes, my name is Rosalind Castleberry. Um, I'm a new author. I published my first book in 2018. It was a self-help book called How to Love Unconditionally. And September the 1st, I released my first novel titled Unconditional Love. So it's a romance uh, novel with a bit of a comedy. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's funny all the way through. So, And what inspired you to start writing? So I, I actually started writing this back in 2011, December 2011. I just started writing. So, but I've always loved reading books. I love reading books, all kind of books, autobiographies, fiction, nonfiction, just all kind of books. So, and then I have a bit of an imagination. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, animated personality. So I had been thinking about writing a book for a little while and I was like, okay, what am I waiting on? So I just started writing, you know, not really familiar with the process, the format, any of that. I just started writing, you know, whatever I thought or whatever. So I developed these characters, Erica and Marcus. <laughs> so Erica is divorcee, uh, no children. And Marcus has never been married, but he has a eight-year-old son that he loves dearly. He spends a lot of time with him. Um, so, but they have a unexpected meeting. They weren't looking for each other. Erica definitely wasn't looking for a man, and Marcus wasn't looking, you know, for a girlfriend. He's just, they both just living their lives free. Um, which Erica kind of put up a little guard since her divorce. She wasn't really interested in dating. Marcus, mm, he don't really like bring a lot of females around his son. Mm -hmm. so he spends a lot of time with his son, so kind of di differentiating between spending time with his son and other females, you know, besides his mom, okay. which we all know kids get a little funny <laughs> about mom dating, you know, someone else other than their dad. So. Um, or dads dating someone other than their, their, you know, their mom. But anyway, but it's interesting how they meet. It's kind of like they fell in love, like at first sight. So how it unfolds is very interesting. Um, they have a lot of problems. Because <laughs> like I said, Erica's divorced, but her ex keeps kind of coming around a little bit. So as soon as she meets Mark, you know how some men, you know, they can tell when you moving on <laughs> and they just come you know crawling back a little bit trying to get back in there but Marcus's issue is a little different from Erica's Erica has a lot more control over her you know relationship Marcus is kind of tied to a woman for life <laughs> because of their son but Julia is a little special some real baby mama drama. OMG. Yes, some real baby mama drama. But uh, it's interesting how everything unfolds. But they, you know, they kind of work it out. But it's interesting how they get to that point. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of drama. Yeah. And, you know, getting to, they're learning, learning about themselves as well. Each one of my characters. So it sounds mm -hmm. very inter interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. So Julia, you know, it's some stuff that you probably never heard about, <laughs> heard of people doing. But anyway, she's a character. Okay. Yeah, she's a character. And did you experience any writer's block? Well, not really. I um, it took me a while to finish this book because I I had a lot of other things going on. Mm -hmm. So I write, you know, leave and do other stuff, and then go back and write some more. Um, I kind of knew what all I wanted to put in this book, just, you know, my own life experiences, um, personally, and then my imagination as well, and then some fantasy, so it just, even when I was doing my um, proofread, I was coming up with another book, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that that so was my next gotta, question. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, okay, it's going to be another book, so. Okay, so I this is going to be a series. I, I think so. Maybe at least one more. Okay. Yeah, I think at least one more. 
Okay. And tell us where we can find, well, tell us where we can purchase your book. So Unconditional Love is on Amazon and is um, at iUniverse.com bookstore okay. as well. And online, uh, Books of Men oh, as well. But I think a lot of people use Amazon for everything, so... Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's an addiction, right? <laughs> <laughs> and where can we find you on social media? I'm on Instagram at Rosalind Castleberry. And then I have Facebook page, Rosalind D. Castleberry. So my name is spelled kind of strange. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> so, yeah, some people spell it my last name with a T or spell Rosalind with L Y N, but yeah, it's R O S A L A N D. Tell us how you came up with the cover. Oh my God. Um, I had got a lot of pictures from the publisher because okay. I self published this book. So, actually, <laughs> I have a funny story. When I had sent them my picture for the cover, they. Um, <laughs> I had sent them which one did I want, you know, the couple and then the, the rose. So it was another picture just like this, but it was a Latina couple. So after I had sent them my picture, they thought I was Hispanic. And I said, no, that picture doesn't kind of flow with this book, the topic of this book. So they we we changed to this one right here. So I really love the colors and and the pictures. Just yeah, so very pretty. It looks it's like endearing. It's an endearing, you know, picture. Yes, it the is. Kiss on the forehead. Yeah. I was getting ready to say that the kiss on the forehead, <laughs> the sun beaming through, you know, between. Yes, I liked it. I was satisfied with it. Definitely satisfied with it. Yeah. Kiss. Marcus is a gentleman mm -hmm. with a kiss on the forehead. He is, and <laughs> he's very patient. Okay. And he's the type of guy that he knows what he wants. He's not um, indecisive at all. So when he approaches Erica, he knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. Even though he wasn't looking for it, but when he saw her, it was like he couldn't resist. He couldn't let her, you know, slip away. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of interesting things going on in this book. So with the unconditional love, it's a lot of different um, stories in here about how, you know, we can love our neighbors unconditionally. Um, Erica's actually from a blended family. So that's another story in that as far as how we can accept each other and love each other in that type of relationship as well. Her mm -hmm. mom and her, um, I would say, other mother, they treat each other like sisters, you know. So it's a, that's a good story as well. But there's some other, like, current events, <laughs> like what's going on now with the, you know, racism and all this stuff. Um, she has a bit of a run in with a hateful police officer. Mm. So that's a very interesting story in this book. And he kind of has, I wouldn't say an epiphany, but a change of heart, literally. So. And is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your book? Well, it's Christmas time. Yes. <laughs> so if you're looking for a good read, this is a good read. And I love reading. I've read probably about five or six books between last month and this month already. So, yeah. And then Valentine's coming up. Nice romantic book. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And how do you think being a writer has helped you as a person? Oh, man. I, you know, I would say I did some, I still had to do a little research when I did this book. You know, just to stay up to date with some things that was, you know, you know, current events that was going on or whatever. Um, I research more. I look up everything um, and then get into, you know, know people that are authors, meeting new people and, and um, you know, just being in different circles. OK, yeah, different circles of people. Okay. Yes. And tell us who's your favorite character in Unconditional Love? Oh, goodness. Well, I, I'm going to be <laughs> the most, well, I like Erica. She's kind hearted. I like Marcus too. But the most dramatic 
I think will be Erica's friend, Chelsea. Okay. She's very animated and um, <laughs> interesting, though she doesn't have a lot of parts in the book, but it's very, very, her parts are very, very funny. As a matter of fact, I'm right, I'm working on a script for this book, a movie script, and I already know who needs to play that part. Tiffany Haddish. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that kind of funny. Okay. Yes. yes. And do you have any tips for any aspiring authors out there? Just write. You know, sometimes we get stuck in, oh, I'm not a writer. I don't know how to do the punctuations or, you know, uh, you know, the research and stuff like that. The biggest part is just getting your story written down on paper, at least. Mm -hmm. Write it down. When I started writing, I just started writing with a piece of paper and pen. I didn't even have a computer in front of me. I just started writing down all my thoughts. You know, I developed my characters. I know who I want to do what and, you know, what type of personality. So I just started writing. Just get it down on paper. You know, we can think about something and then forget. Yep. So just write it down, write it down. Every time you get a thought, write it down. And then you can put it together later. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, show us your book one more time. Yes, Unconditional Love. Yes. I love this cover. <laughs> it is, it's so pretty. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, everyone. That was author Rosalind Cassaberry telling us about her book, Make sure you go out and purchase a copy and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video below.